What is going on everybody and welcome back to Trading Learning 101. Got a little recap for you guys here. Today is Tuesday, July 31st, July 31st, 2018. Last day of July. Now normally during the summer months, it's it's typically slow in the market and we're about to be coming into August as well and they say August is the slowest month of the year for the stock market and we are clearly still seeing that uh, this pre-market was looking very very good there were a lot of stocks up gapped up with great not great news I would say but decent news a, a few low floats that had my attention I did take a trade today and I lost $400. I'm going to go over that trade and I got a good uh, lesson behind the trade I took as well that you guys can learn from and that I'm also going to learn from. But this was the biggest play right here this morning and that was HMNY. This is a piece of crap company. They recently just did a reverse split not too long ago. Let me see here. If I pull back the previous 10 days on this, let's go back. This stock was all the way up big, up to $36. And it's just slowly died off. Died off, died off, died off, died off, died off, died off, died off. And then it hit a low of 65 cents. And then today, this is a horrible chart right here. But today, this is the previous month on it. But it didn't get gapped up that high because this did a well, 1 for 260 reverse split. So it wasn't up this high. They did a reverse split up to like $36. And since it did that reverse split, it just sold off and sold off and sold off, hitting a low of $0.65. Cents. And then today, look at this ugly chart. Let me pull it up here for you guys. Look at this ugly chart. Right out of the gates, it opens at $0.72. Cent. And just started running. Pulled back just below a dollar. And then just exploded over a dollar. Getting halted at a dollar twelve. And then reopening right here at a dollar fifty. And then it, right when it got reopened after that halt. It immediately got halted again. And it look at that. It hit a high of two dollars. And then just completely just got destroyed and now it's back at 80 cents now look at now it's looking to do it maybe another little bounce we'll see but if you were to chase this you would have lost your butt off on this that's why it's not good to chase <clears throat> now I can't hate on and I'm gonna show you another example why it's not good to chase I took a trade today on UABS and I lost my butt on it. UABS. Everything's wrong with this play right here. Just to show you guys my PL. Here it is right here. I took a loss for four hundred dollars. And I was expecting a I was expecting a really big move on this play at the break of this pre-market high right here. And that's why it's always good to wait for this break right here. And let's go through this right now. Yes, this chart is ugly. It's ugly as crap, as you can see. So this this gapped up. It has news of it's a it's up. It, the company announced that it's going to acquire a firm and the terms are not yet disclosed. This was the lowest flow on the gap up 
uh, scan pre-market and this does has have history of spiking big so when this was coming up and approaching the pre-market high right here I was immediately thinking all right volumes gonna come into this and it's gonna explode up that's why I jumped in uh, with 1500 shares here at 209 and literally I bought at the top and this is a good lesson right here when I immediately bought in huge sellers popped up on the level two right here huge sellers there was a 50,000 seller at 210 and then 215 there was another big block seller as soon as I seen that I should have sold my position because I knew that was going to scare a lot of buyers off and people are not going to want to buy into a wall and that's exactly what I did so I bought in and then I got stubborn I let this fall all the way down and then I'm in with 1500 shares and I didn't want to just market sell or just sell off 1500 shares to maybe take slippage so I scaled out uh, 500 right here at $1.81 and then I just held on to the last thousand and the level two the times and sales was not moving as you can see volume just completely died off on this and I sold my last thousand here at $1.83 and then a minute later it drops down to a dollar seventy five it just goes to show you when you get in on something if you don't feel comfortable and you see a big wall of sellers just stick to your stop loss get out cut those losses fast I could have prevented this four hundred dollar loss right here I really could have I could have probably got this down to maybe a two hundred dollar loss if I would have just been alright Dave this isn't your play get out and simply sold for a loss right when it was breaking below two dollars here but I kept thinking in the back of my head this is a low float and volume could come into this easily and start getting this going because it has spiked in the past and it has news you, you, you can't hope for something you simply just gotta react to what's gonna happen and I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this turns out at the end of the day my luck this is gonna start getting hype right around lunch and it's gonna break out and start going supernova crazy it happens all the time but you can't kick yourself in the butt even if you sold this for a loss and then it U shapes back around and spikes up big that's why they say patience pays you have to have patience and wait for your setup and attack when you see your setup and it's breaking out or it's doing whatever it's breaking out but yeah this was just a really really horrible trade and it put me back in check um, I had an eight hundred dollar winner yesterday and that's another thing when you take a big winner like that you gotta take a step back for a second and realize what you just did um, get get out of that mindset that you made eight hundred it's that feeling of you made eight hundred dollars and you get that mindset that you got eight hundred dollars to lose or eight hundred dollars to gamble with you you got to get out of that mindset and put it into a perspective of okay I made eight hundred dollars sweet I just grew my account eight hundred dollars more that's my eight hundred dollars and the next trade or the next day be prepared and it's very important every single day when you come to the market that you are giving the market a hundred percent of your attention don't be sitting there pre-market on your phone, on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Actually be looking at these charts and seeing what they're doing and setting up plans and strategies. Because the simplest mistake 
could blow up your account. Other than that, we had ABIO have a nice uh, gap up right here. This also had news this morning. Um, looks like it's FDA related. So they announced a positive outcome of their phase two. The only thing in this close and yesterday Monday this closed very strong, as you can see. And why this closed very strong is people were jumping in on this, anticipating the results of the phase two trial. Now I even though this did gap up, it is never a good idea to get in on a stock that the next day is reporting earnings or or trial results because that's a really really big risk there's more risk there than a reward and why would you put yourself in that situation yeah this did gap up but what if this came out with negative phase two results this would have this would have gapped down and got destroyed you know you never want to predict what things are going to do that's you just simply want to react you know and hold off and wait wake, wake up early early bird the early bird gets the worm and wake up extra early wake up at 6 30 7 o'clock wait for the news release to come in if it's positive or negative and if it's positive you know react to that positive news Reacting to that positive news, it goes from eighty cents up to a dollar twenty before the market opened, and before the market even opened, you would have already been done for the day. And then look what it did right when the market opens. Right when the market opened, it popped up, touched the pre-market high, and it's just been falling all day because everybody's been taking their profits. And then another one we had was HYRE. And HYRE is our earnings winner. And it just goes to show you again, just because a play has positive earnings doesn't guarantee it that it's going to be green and spike on the day. This had a good gap up, and then now it's just selling off. And then the last one, I was really liking NAKD. They had really good news this morning with a partnership with CVS to bring Heidi, Klum, Heidi Klum's intimates to the stores. So if you don't know who Heidi Klum is, she's like one of the most well-known models in the world. And to have a big celebrity name like that related to a penny stock, in a big store like CVS related to a penny stock this could bring good hype and potential into this and you can clearly see it went from four dollars yesterday it was at 350 closed at four dollars this thing gapped up all the way up to almost seven dollars but then now look at it but this is still gonna be on high alert because this has really good news Anything could happen. I would probably say this would be the number one watch for the day. NAKD, right here. This still has potential. It's still holding its gap up, and it's not too far off from its highs. And if this thing could slowly make its way back up to this VWAP and get over this VWAP, it could go nuts. HMNY, as I said, is crap. NVIV, I just, I had this on my watch list because it's a low float and it looked like it was slowly starting to grind up and it gapped up a little bit pre-market. Me as a trader, I like these low floats. I love low float plays because they love to rip. You will barely ever see me play something that doesn't have a high float. I just don't have the patience for stocks that move slow. 
I like to be in and out. Unfortunately, today I back holded this, but low floats are my kind of plays. And then if we go back to AWX, but one second, look at SSLJ. You know, this was just a grinder yesterday. This was just a grinder yesterday. This is the play I made 800 on. And it was like slowly grinding up and then pulling back. This was a very, very tough stock to play if you were to play this yesterday. And then towards uh, lunch hours here, it finally broke out of that 250 and it runs up to $3. But then it just, everybody just dumped it. You know, because everybody was holding it. They would buy in right here expecting it to break out and it never did. And when it would break out, it would grind up a little bit and then pull back. And then it finally got a good one here. And then buying came in more and then more people just holding on to it because it didn't break out. And then when it finally broke out, it pulled back and people sold it at a mental uh, resistance here at $3. And every single person dumped it. And that's why you have a big dump like this. That's a dollar twenty-five dump, simply because this just accumulated buyers all day. And then now look at it; it's just slowly grinding off. Let's go back to AWX. Now look at this one. This was the big play. Everybody had their eyes on this Monday. As it gapped up to a high of almost $36, or it gapped up to $36, and then it just dumped down. And then as you can see, it's still slowly grinding away. But people are still going to have attention on this because anything can happen on this play. And then they just released a press release here at... 1040 Avalon Holdings shares down 30% continuing to experience high volatility since Monday CEO announced late Monday that the company is not aware of any news or events that could warrant stock activity over past week well pretty much yeah they don't know nothing that's going on they were probably surprised to see this up at thirty six dollars but other than that guys it's just been slow conditions still still very slow we got the QQQ pulling back here it's in this up uh, channel right here it topped out here now it's just pulling back and possibly bouncing right off this bottom trend line here so we'll be seeing if this if it holds this trend line and then we got the SPX pretty much the same thing on this We got a line there and a line there. And it's just pulling back. And then what about the Dow Jones? Dow Jones is just very toppy. Very, very toppy. It somewhat has a little wedge going up, but uh, it's been tough. It's been a real tough year this year. But all right, guys, this is the market recap for the last day of July. So gather your thoughts, prepare yourself for August. I would still say currently at this moment, 
be conservative. Conservative. I, I'm not going to be aggressive until I see volume come back really, really strong. Or really, even it just goes to show with a good press release like this, volume's not back yet. So, and we're about to be heading into one of the slowest months of the year for the stock market. So, and we're go probably going to be seeing a lot of pumping ups, just popping up and falling right back down. Like UAVS, I was a victim to this one. So learn from my mistakes and... Study and during slow times like this just study 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 What you should do if you're on your desktop or a laptop create a folder for the month and every ticker that spikes or any chart that interests you Simply take a screenshot of that chart add it to that month uh, July folder and then every single weekend Go back and just look at all those pictures that you took. And when you do that, even taking uh, simple pictures of the biggest percentage gainer and the biggest percentage loser. And then just simply going over those pictures every weekend, you might notice a pattern that's happening over and over and over again that's currently happening. And that's how you simply put a strategy together and capitalize on a pattern that's currently taking place in the market. I take all kinds of pictures. I take pictures all every single day. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> this is my thinkorswim charts. I have all of these. I have stock picks. I have all of these. Just pages of pictures so it's always a good idea just to take pictures and go over them over the weekend and you can never study enough study 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 obsess with this to better yourself and polish up your skills that way when the market does heat up you are prepared but alright guys This is the video recap for the last day of July 31st, 2018. Study up, and I'll see you guys later.